a little bit of a soul. Namaste. Welcome back. Welcome to another video. Welcome to another episode of the podcast, A Coffee with the Angels. My name is Maria. For those of you who don't know me, thank you for joining me today. I'm here to help you find your inner peace and to help you find the true meaning of happiness by connecting you, me, with the angels, with the divine love, with the universe, with all these wonderful, beautiful beings of light who are here to help us. So if this is something that resonates with you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or you follow me on, on the podcast. I'm in every podcast pl platform. You can just search for a coffee with the angels and you will find me there. Before I forget, I before I forget, you can support my work. You can support this journey by heading over to my Patreon page and you will receive beautiful healing sessions every week, Reiki and angel healing that I do with so much love for you. So I will leave the link in the description if you want. Now, let's talk about this episode that is a little bit difficult for me to be talking about this. I was, uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to actually uh, bring this forward or if I'm actually going to make this available to you guys, but I just felt the need to record this because just right now I was not even planning to do this. I was just preparing for another work. Um, and the angels came through, they started talking to me about this and I was like, you know what, wait a second, let me start recording this. So maybe I can share this with other people as well, because this is very, very important right now. So let's talk about gender differences, gender choices and all LGBT or whatever, <laughs> I don't even know, um, you know, I don't even know this, um, these words, the way it's called, because honestly, it doesn't make any difference for me. I don't place them in little boxes or even myself. And this is why I'm here to talk to you about this. It's something very delicate. It's something very very difficult to be talking about because there's so much hatred in this planet when it comes to this so much there's so much anger within people's hearts when it comes to this topic to this energy People say they follow God and love, but still they bring up so much hatred against other people because they chose differently, because they are not following the same pattern that everyone is, that society created. They can't accept other people by who they are. And honestly, what difference does it make in your life, in my life, if people are choosing to be with men, with women, with both? If people are choosing to wear women's clothes, men's clothes, who are we to say what's right or wrong? Because if you think about this, what if, what if, just think, of, for, think about this for a second. What if from the beginning of times, men actually started using wearing makeup or using a dress or skirts or having long hair and, and women were the ones with short hair and, you know, trousers or whatever. What if it was the other way around? How would it be right now? You know, this is just some pattern that we created. And people don't accept differences. 
If people cannot accept other people's choices, and it's actually not even a choice, they're not born choosing this. This is who they are. You don't choose if you want to feel attracted to women or to men. That's who you are, and that's who they are, and, and, and that's life. And why do we have to cultivate so much hatred instead of acceptance and, and love, compassion? Why? Why do we need so much to attack other people? so we can feel better, so we can feel more powerful. Is it so hard to accept that other people are different from you, from me, from us? Because when we don't accept this, it's the same as not accepting different races, different countries, not accepting you know, whatever difference other people have from us. You know, people are always saying, wow, it was terrible what Hitler, for example, did. And yes, it was. He wouldn't accept, right? But the same people that say this sometimes are those who don't accept that people from other country live in their own country. And how is that different? Just because you're not killing someone? You know? The other day the angels also told me something that was very strong to me. And they said, yes, there are people killing others and that's terrible. But what people don't realize is that sometimes a word can destroy another human being, can kill another human being without them knowing. Have you thought about this? People attack other people for, the cho for their choices because they are different, but they have no idea what they're doing, what those people are going through. How can we experience love and, and blessings in our lives if we're not cultivating that? If that's not who we are? It's just really hard to see so much hatred within people's hearts because that just shows what they have. Their own insecurities, the the anger they have within, the darkness that they carry within them, that is so hard for them to at least respect. At least respect. And this is what the angels were telling me just now. They said, have you ever thought about how the numbers of people being different, you know, quote, different, how many, how, how the numbers are increasing lately, right? In the past years, so many more people are coming out of the closet. <laughs> and that's actually because they are accepting themselves. They are choosing their happiness. And that takes so much courage. But what the angels were saying also is that this is teaching us a lesson. That's why the numbers are increasing. It's to teach us respect, acceptance, empathy, compassion, love beyond physical form understanding that we are one, that we are connected. 
such a powerful lesson of acceptance these people are bringing us. And they are so courageous to do so. That's what the angels were also saying. It takes so much courage. Only the, the strongest and most conscious souls have the courage to choose a lifetime being, quote, different from what society expects. Now I want to ask you this, would you, would you have the courage to place yourself within a, within a place, within a room where you know that every single person in, that, in there would hate you, would attack you, would not accept you there? Would you have the courage to do that? Well, these people, they did, they do. And they have so much to teach us. So today, beautiful soul, I'm here to inspire you to at least respect because we are one. To at least understand other people try to understand have empathy I'm not saying that you need to love that you need to have compassion but the moment you choose to see other people as you see yourself That's the moment you experience true divine blessings, true divine love. That's the true meaning of unconditional love. So today, I just want you to look at yourself and notice how you feel about this. You know, if something negative is triggering within you now, because I'm talking about this, look at that wound. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Where does it come from? If you feel the need to attack people, look at that. Heal it. Set yourself free from your own anger and your own hatred. Choose love instead of fear. Choose love instead of anger, instead of hatred. Choose light. Bring light into your darkness. It's not just about expecting the world to be a peaceful, beautiful place. It's about taking the action of creating that reality, for creating that reality. Okay, beautiful soul. This touches my heart so deeply because I, I don't see a difference between anyone. And I want to say to you who's watching me now, who's listening to me now, I love you for who you are. I don't see the color of your hair. I don't, I don't see the color of your skin. I don't see the language you speak. I don't see how much money you have. I don't see the clothes you wear. I don't see... The profession you have. I don't see any difference between you and me when it comes to your choices, when you feel attracted, whatever you feel attracted to, men, women, both. In here, 
in here. You are more than welcome for being whoever you are. And if you don't accept other people, heal it. It means you don't accept yourself because you are one with other people. Okay, beautiful soul. That's all I have to say. I hope this resonates. I hope it touches your heart somehow. I really do. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you a wonderful day. See the world with love, compassion, kindness. Be light and not darkness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I'm sending you love and light. And namaste.